What up, guys? CP the Two Attic. Woo! Well, this is going to be a pretty simple, quick video. We're going to talk about the mountain wrenches, these uh, zero degree offset wrenches. They've been a big, big, big part of a contra They've been a big part of topics as far as wrenches go for a while. Which ones to get? Who rebrands what? You know, they're all coming out of the same factory, and then there's different names on them, okay? Then there's a question about warranty, a uh, question about durability, question about spline drive, um, you know, and I, I tend to shy away from using these to the simple fact is that I'm scared that I'm going to break them because Mountain doesn't warranty these things, uh, and they didn't really let people know that when they first bought them. Now, and now that not only that, the prices on them, fluctuate on Amazon ridiculously and everybody loves these wrenches and don't get me wrong this zero degree offset is absolutely handy plus it's ratcheting plus it's reversible so you know this thing has a lot going for it but the price three four five hundred dollars for these just is ridiculous and it doesn't add up to a lot of people's budget okay now, I always say, buy once, cry once, you know, and a lot of people like to get upset about that, and they don't like that mentality, but unfortunately, I still feel that way, but I always try to help my fellow, my fellow patrons, constituents, uh, viewers, subscribers, whatever you want to call yourself, mechanics, DIYers, anybody, and save you as much money as possible, because I really do care about giving you the best product or finding you the best product for your money because I know that a lot of you are not on the same budgets, and that's exactly what life is all about, okay? Somebody made a great point to me the other day, you know? They said, hey, CP, you're 65. Are you going to paint that thing? And I said, no, I don't think so. He goes, yeah, that's cool, man. I like that. He goes, you know why? And I go, no, why is that? He goes, because that's... That patina, everything that it's got on it, has made it one of a kind. And there may be a lot of other 65s out there, but that patina and the way that paint is and the way that truck is, it is one of a kind. And I feel like everybody's toolbox is one of a kind. I've never, ever looked at somebody's toolbox and said, oh, you have the, even though you have an, uh, a snap-on Epic or whatnot like that, you have yours set up a certain way, you have yours dialed in a certain way and customizing it a certain way. And you like your stuff a certain way. And guess what? That's what makes you happy. If you like to just throw your stuff in there. You know, I'm 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 a mid-range guy. Okay, I will say that. And I know some of you are probably getting tired. Like, CP, tell us what you got. I'm going to tell you. Just hang on for a second. I know some... I'm a mid-range guy. So I believe that mid-range tools are definitely good enough for a lot of people, professionals. You know, and the company that you sells them, if they're make, making them in Taiwan... Then we have to go to price and the company, okay? And Mountain is, this company here, not a good company to deal with. So you want to save money. So it all comes down to warranty. Matco, Cornwell, uh, you know, Icon, uh, or uh, I don't remember who else is out there that's got them. Somebody else has got them. Mountain, obviously. But anyways, nonetheless, I digress. The, the best company with the best warranty would be the deal. Now you're going to say, well, what about if I buy them from Matco, because it's probably the most... I would say that's probably the easiest to warranty, too, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of you will say Icon, but uh, I, I have not had very good luck in my Harbor Freight, and not to mention the fact they don't like me, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. But I don't, I, I want to go somewhere where I can trust getting a warranty. I want to go where I can trust the company, okay? And I have found, or I shouldn't say I haven't found, but there is a company that is pretty trustworthy, and they've been around Longer than most of these companies, even though they don't manufacture those tools and they get them made somewhere else, they get them made over in Taiwan. This company seems to be tried and true for a lot of mechanics. I think they agree. So, without ado, I introduce you to Astro's brand new 78 318 extended nano wrench. And when I mean extended, son, I ain't playing no games here. This sucker is extended. Let, and let me just give you a little dial in, okay? So you see you got your 19 millimeter wrench here. We're talking 18 inches of pure power. 
Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, CP, why would I do that if I've already got the mountain wrenches? You might, that might be the case. But I'll tell you this much right now, Rick, or Jim, or Terry, whatever your name is. Uh, this, to me, is a much better option. And I'm going to give you a couple examples why. They're nano sockets, for instance. These are the Astro Nano Sockets, and they go up to larger sizes. You are going to save a pile of money. Not only that, that's right, they're six point. So that means you're going to get a better purchase on them. Now, a lot of you will be wanting to know what, how these things hold in there. Let me show you before I slap that sucker in there. They have a retaining ring in there, okay, which is a hold function, which actually, if you have a 17 millimeter nut, it holds on that too. Boom, shakalaka. Flex head, just like the mountain. Now, these aren't reversible, but I'm going to tell you this much right now. Uh, and I think almost every mechanic that's been working on cars for a long time, you learn not to back yourself into a corner, okay, <laughs> with this stuff. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, these wrenches, for what I use them for, are going to be mainly breaking something loose. I, I, I can't see yourself getting stuck into too many core uh, issues. And they also have a pass-through feature on them, too. These are basically pass-through ratchets. So instead of going out and spending $200 or $400 on a Milwaukee ratchet, you can spend $35 on this. And these are from JD Tico has these. I will put a link in the description for these. No, and it's not, that, that's not, he doesn't pay me a dime for doing this. $35 for these Astro 78 3118 ratchets. And let's do a little comparison real quick on side by side and just talk about the, the profile. So a lot of you are gonna say, well, CP, what about what about the profile on that? Okay. What about how's that stack up on the profile? I will say it is a slight bit taller. Let me get the dial calipers out here. Alright, so we got the digital gems out here right now. Let's take a look at the old. Let's take a look at that. This is a 19 millimeter and this is a 19 millimeter socket. We'll look at this thing tip to toe here. Get her touched in there. 22, 22, 22 thousands. Oh, 22. Come on, fella. Get her bowed in here. Uh, looks like we got about 22.51 for that right there. Let's look at the thickness on this bad boy. Look at about 24, 24, 77. So a little bit of little bit of thickness difference. What about our head difference? See what that is. 33, 64. Not bad. Uh, let's see here. I got to try to get this button centered up here. Maybe we're not going to interfere. 3364. So they're the same width as the mountain wrenches. That's not terrible. That's actually a good deal. So that's a good deal. So it's back basically the same width as a mountain wrench. A little bit taller in the so deal. But I will tell you this the comfort and the fact that I'm get betting these are stronger. I haven't tested these yet, and I'm not probably gonna put this to failure right away. But I'm be I'm betting this is stronger and the comfort, and not only that, the ability. To have flexibility in your sockets. Uh, maybe I should check out the 8 millimeter. You can go all the way 8. All the way up to what? 32 millimeter. With these. With these with these uh, wrenches. It is extremely long for an 8 millimeter. So you know. Remember at your. at your You're going to want to do that at your own risk. Because uh, if you're briefing on that thing with an 8 millimeter. You're going to snap stuff off. I forgot. I had Carlisle ones. That's the other one too. Because I actually own one of the Carlisles. Uh, so let's compare it to the 8mm on the Carlisle. Now, I will say on the Carlisle, you're going to lose a lot of different depths there because obviously this is going to be completely wider than the 8mm. Uh, so could be some deals there, but I'll be honest, I don't run into using these that much on 8mm. Uh, kind of overkill for these wrenches. Ton. There's, there's very few cases where I've had to use 8mm stuff yet. But for your 15, 16, 17, 18 bigger ones, this thing is going to come in clutch, in my opinion. So I will leave a link in the description for this, along with the nano sockets. 
all the stuff so you can check them out for yourself. I highly recommend it. And I think if you wanted to get a set of these with the sockets, you're going to have pretty good zero degree offset ratcheting set up there. Uh, and I think the nano sockets are like 40, 50 bucks. So I'm betting for 125 bucks, which is about a third of the price of buying mountain wrenches. You can have yourself what I would consider a fairly good setup for a zero degree offset and they'll help you out. Anyways, guys, that's the video for you. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.